We are now at uh, the supercharger and the Ionity charger at uh, Ringdalskogen. So here, um, Ionity, they have an event. They are officially opening the, corid the charging corridor between Oslo and Stavanger. And uh, we have a bunch of uh, e-trons here. Yeah, lots of e-trons. So, but I also brought MC Hammer. Yeah, it's wounded. But right now we are charging on the Ionity charger. And these cables, they have been... They have, oh, there's a Rockstar. <laughs> <laughs> these cables have been upgraded to CCS2. So water cool cables, finally. And uh, if you see here... Oh, it was... Oh, it was 127 for in the beginning. Oh, it's really hard to see the display. But you see, there's a there's a, a little mismatch here. This one shows 108 right now. Okay, but if we go inside the car, it's 102. So the charger will show you um, will show you slightly more than uh, in here. Yeah, because there's some loss on the way here, I guess. But wow, I was getting a higher speed in the beginning. Maybe I should take it for a spin and then come back and try again. Hmm, yeah, let's do that. Okay, I took it out for a little run, uh, a yo-yo run, yeah. And um, in 10 minutes, I lost 10%, uh, so that's good. So hopefully the battery has uh, heated up even more and uh, the stable charge is slightly lower. So let's see, it's charging now. Okay, it's ramping up. Okay, 60, 70, 80, 90. 100, ooh, 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 100, ooh, 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 120, ooh, I saw a higher result earlier, but okay, 120, hmm, yeah, so I'm not sure if, um, well, actually, the station can deliver more, but it's just that the car right now is limited, so it will be unlocked later, so you can charge at higher speed, yeah, so let me see, 120 something, all right, let's look in, inside the car then. So as I mentioned, no, inside the car it will be lower. Well, actually this time <laughs> it shows the same. 120 outside, 120 inside. Hmm. All right. Whoa. Huh. Interesting. I remember when I tried supercharger. Well, let's switch off the heater. This heater might be stealing a little bit. Oh yes. Oh, okay. One kilowatt. Um. When I tried the supercharging, it would taper off at 45 percent. But here it just stays flat at 120 kilowatt. Hmm, so I wonder. Yeah, the, the, it seems that the charging curve has been changed. This is this is fast, okay. Not as fast as uh, the badass over there, of course, the e-tron. That one can go to 150. But at least, you know, uh, seems like something has changed here. And also, you know what? When I had my trip to Lapland lately, I've been getting slow charging speed. Uh, sometimes I was only getting f like 85 kilowatt and then it ramped up to 90, 95. Uh, and then sometimes I was getting 120, uh, 118 kilowatts. So I suspect the people say that they, it's it's the supercharger stall. On the, I mean, it's those, those CCS plugs at the supercharger that has a bug or something. Um, right now you see it doesn't seem like the car has a problem so yeah and it was more or less random at some superchargers I was getting full speed some superchargers I didn't but here you see plug in and then it just gives me full speed so let's see actually let's just see how long this can sustain you know this is really good shit um, that you can you can give me uh, 120 kilowatt past 50% yeah, it means that I can I can charge fairly fast and still um, um, and then maybe skip some charges. Wow, wow! And also one, some something else I noticed is that you know during the trip to um, um, Lapland, when I charge more charge for some reason the speed was low. I was getting uh, in the low end. I was getting like thirty five kilowatt, and then it slowly ramped up. But it was it was slow, you know. And then we had a theory that uh, some people had a theory that the, the the pack voltage is lower than the S and X, but uh, it's actually not true. The pack voltage is high, just like S and X. Uh, because I'm going to show. Okay, it's, it's not tapering now. Let's go show you something. Um, so I remember at fifty percent. You see here, we <laughs> we already have three hundred ninety-two. Volts, but of course, this is the, the charging um, 
uh, voltage and it's if I remember if I understand it correctly it's slightly higher at when you're charging at high high speed so if you're charging a charger mode it will be lower but at least 380 so now it should be you know well okay basically what I'm saying is that uh, in the, uh, the charger mode well, sorry I, I meant not the charger mode I meant the 50 kilowatt fast charger at the 50, 50 kilowatt fast charger it should still be I don't know, 40, 45 kilowatt in the low end and then 50 at the high end. So um, I suspect that uh, at those, those chargers, I was not getting 125 amp. I was probably getting only 100, 105 amp for some reason. But now you see it starts tapering off, okay? So it seems like there's been some change um, so that it tapers off about 10% later. Yeah, I remember in the US, it was it started tapering at 45 percent and then it went down this is really promising yes okay okay at 60 percent it dropped below 100 kilowatt yeah it's now 95 kilowatt it's still uh, fairly fast you see it's it reports at uh, 600 kilometers per hour yeah um and then you want to see uh how much is that in kilometers okay we switch here to distance see 300 kilometers of range wow yeah so still pretty good so yeah anyway i think well, no, no, that one. Uh, switch back again to uh, energy so i would say that um with this kind of speed this kind of charging speed uh it pays off to charge to about 70 75 percent because uh, if you can charge a little bit i mean what you can do is of course you can charge to 55 percent and then uh, qu quickly rush to the next charger but what you also can do is you can let me just give you a better um, a better idea here for example uh, you could go to this one oh, come on let me get let me see what the car says <coughs> yeah okay we will <laughs> uh, okay we'll you see if we charge you 55% something we could have gone to we could have gone to uh, Sundebru right and arrive with some uh, twenty percent. Yeah, I will drive slightly faster here, but we arrive with twenty percent. Then we charge again. But what you could also do is you could try to reach this one, skip that stop, and go straight here. But then, uh, okay. Well, actually, this car is so efficient. You can also reach that one, twenty-four percent. Okay. Well, that's uh, the next one then. Okay. How about this one? Okay. Uh, that's only 174 kilometers. So instead of going there to juice up there, right? Uh, what you can do is you can sit a little bit longer and skip that one and go to Lyngdal. But right now we will probably not make it to Lyngdal. Uh, well, actually we'll make it there with 6%, but that's uh, cutting it a little bit close. Plus that I drive, this one uh, assumes that you're driving right on the speed limit, but I will drive a little bit over the speed limit. So I will just go with the traffic flow. And most likely well, I'll arrive at 0% there. So that's not enough. But what you can do is you can you see, it's still, still pretty fast. Uh, and the thing is that if you stop here, just by I mean, by taking off the highway and then plugging it in at the supercharger and then unplug and go, that, that's already usually about five minutes extra. And in five minutes, you can charge a lot during those five minutes. So that means that you can allow the speed to drop, let's say, uh, even to 60 kilowatt, roughly before you unplug yeah so the best deal is usually to charge to about 70 75 percent uh if you can skip one charger if you can't if there are no other chargers and you have to stop at whatever let's say you have to stop at that one anyway then it's a different story yeah but um again you don't have to overcomplicate this you can just follow the car's navigation and it will recommend the charging stops for you but at least I saw that the handshake between the, the well, it's a tritium charger, you know, this this uh, HPC or the high power uh, tritium charger uh, and the Model 3 works just fine. Uh, Model 3 has been having some trouble with handshake with a, a hypercharger and also some of the ABB chargers. I'm not sure if they fixed it, but now you see that it works great. So um, in case you need uh, HPC juice or I mean Ionity juice, then that also works. Right now, over here we have supercharger right next to it, but um, just wanted to test the speed here. So, okay, uh, anyway, I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and bye bye.